band from Portugal. They live in Ling in London, called Johnny Throttle, and that's fine. Do a seven inch, keep it easy, and uh, not have to have touring expenses, and <laughs> all that stuff. <laughs> Ε, ναι, να, να κάνουμε. Ε, απλά Μαρίνα, να το ρωτήσουμε κιόλα και να το κάνουμε όλο μαζί. Mm -hmm. Να το πούμε και πώ βλέπει τη σκηνή τώρα. Υπάρχει ε, αυτό που έγινε στην Ελλάδα. Όχι, όμω θέλω να το, να το ρωτήσω. Uh, we all know that shit like unfaithful uh, bands or lazy bands happen. Oh, many lazy like bands. The, the lazy oh, bands, okay. you know, you work, you work. We, like when we were working, we were working like 6 in the morning until 11 at night. And you get a band that just like smoke. Smoke a joint and oh yeah, we put in a record, man. Uh -huh. And then you know you're like, but why am I working my ass off for this band? Yeah. And then they tour for two weeks and break up, and uh -huh. it's nothing to say anything about any band, but like you love the hardworking bands, uh -huh. the bands that would tour seventy days, like New Bomb Turks, seventy days, Devil Dogs, seventy days. No, no, no. You said 70 days. About New Bomb Turks playing uh, 18 years later. And yeah, playing they're playing New York on June 26th, mm -hmm. and I really would like to go, but mm -hmm. I'm living in Berlin now, and mm -hmm. you know. But uh, really, I saw them last July in Belgium, and it was like, unbelievable. Ναι, δηλαδή και μπάντες που μπορεί σε τρεις εβδομάδες να φτιάχνανε κάτι και μετά να διέλυαν. Παρ' όλα αυτά για τους New Bomb Turks μετά από 18 χρόνια και ήταν They are in Epitaph now. No, they were on Epitaph, but now they're long gone. They've broken up. But they get together once every two years and they play in Norway or in Belgium. Yeah, yeah. They're very popular in Soling in Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, it's one town in Germany, and they have like 800 people go to the concerts and really good. But Belgium last last July, mm -hmm. fantastic. They did the whole whole this drive away album from the first song to the last song, and it was incredible. Really. <laughs> Πριν είπε διάφορα πάρα πολύ σημαντικά πράγματα. Αλλά αν το πει. Οι ακροατέ έτσι κι αλλιώ καταλαβαίνουν. Ναι, ελπίζω. Λοιπόν. Θα κάνει μετάφραση μετά. Ναι, συγκεντρώ και την κύκλη, θα θυμάμαι όλα. Λοιπόν. Θα ακούσει την εκπομπή και θα κάνει μετάφραση μετά. Ναι, we are like best friends, he is always joking. So we're gonna go to somebody who is also one of your children. I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, children. Α, οκ. Spiritual children, of course. I'm talking about John Spencer and the Blues Explosion. Mm. Mm. Tell us a few things about him. Oh, well, John approached me in 1992, or like January or December 1991, and said, "Hey, man, you want to put out a record?" And he sent me a he sent me the first album, the bootleg album, only 500 copies pressed, and unreleased tapes. And then I and then he said, "Make an album out of this," and I put together. Just putting the sequencing together of this song, this song, this song, this song's an unreleased, this song's this, this and mm. this. And I put it together and I sent it to him and he was like, let's call it Crip Style. And then we just made the record from that. And oh, it was, yeah. and then we did three albums with John and then they got too big. Yeah. When a record, when a late, when it's like, it's like with, um, with Elvis Presley on Sun, when an artist gets too big, and also the new Bob Turk's first record, the small label can't afford it anymore yeah. because they're pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing to meet the demand, but they're not getting paid. Mm -hmm. And so you have to, and then the artist says, we need something bigger. Yes. So we yeah. let it go. Μας είπε επίσης για τον Τζον Σπένσερ ότι του είχε στείλει 500 κασέτες και έκανε σε 500 αντίτυπα, σε 500 αντίτυπα και έκανε ένα μια μπούντλη κασέτα okay, και έκανε τη γιατί. Φτιάξανε μαζί. <laughs> Καταλάβαινε και ελληνικά. Καταλαβαίνει, καταλαβαίνει. Πρόσεχε τι λέει. Πρόσεχε τι λέει. Λοιπόν, talk about the blues. About the blues. Yeah. I'll be playing a lot of blues tomorrow night. Oh, no, talk about the blues. The blues, blues explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I had to make a mistake already. No, no, no. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> that was great. That was great. Tim, you just said something about the record companies. Maybe you should say that on the Oh, well, I mean, you know, I have to say, I have to say support the record companies. 
because we really are struggling. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are in, we're in Greece, we're enjoying the sun, but no, 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 but uh, that's the small time companies. But the big companies are going down. I, I just read an article on the Village Voice like about a month ago, and I emailed a friend of mine who's a music lawyer, and I said, Touch and Go is out of business? He's like, Touch and Go? Yeah, Touch and Go. Yeah. Bankrupt since mm. one year. Matador Records. Uh, Matador. Just, yeah, Matador, yeah, like Matador. two friends of mine, really good friends. Marco was the graphics man for all the Matador releases, and Mark uh, and Jesper from Sweden uh, was the salesman. And they're both fired since two years. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's going bad. But kids, buy records. Yeah. Buy records, support the labels, yeah. because without the labels,